tell us more about some of the trends that you have been seeing over you know, the last 10, 15 years and sort of what you expect or what you kind of see trends being in the near future. We do CFO surveys annually. And uh, I was just looking through these and a couple of, couple of things jump out at me. Number one, it's around between 40 and 50 percent of companies uh, expect over the next three years for 10 to 30 percent of their growth to come from deals, for, to come from M&A. So all signs are, again, as long as the markets um, stay strong, um, there's all signs that this is going to continue, again, with a big if, um, because market movements make a big difference. We can talk about that a little bit. The other thing, with all I said about merger waves and you know, reactive behavior and that sort of thing, about 75% of companies are sticking to their core. But that's a pretty good, it's a reassuring sign because, you know, uh, if you ask that question 10 or 15 years ago, they're interested in adjacencies and this sort of thing. And uh, one of the things we say in M&A strategy is that today's adjacency is tomorrow's core. So when you start moving into adjacencies, you may be facing competitors you never competed with before. So those are two things that I think are very interesting that we're seeing now. And you mentioned market movements have an impact on huge, this. Huge, huge impact. I mean, think about, um, you know, if the Dow were to drop significantly, let's just say the Dow, the markets were to drop uh, significantly, what happens to deals on the table? What happens to the prices that were negotiated? If it's a stock deal, the value of the, the deal's gone down dramatically, so the seller's not happy. And, uh, if, the, you know, um, if the seller's values drop dramatically the, and the buyer is paying cash, for example, I want to pay the same amount. So, unless they're willing to pay an even higher premium. So, it has dramatic effects on deals on the table, for sure.